do angels exist? Well, according to a Time magazine survey, more than two-thirds of all Americans believe that they do. Skeptics argue that angelic visions are simply the brain replaying unconscious images absorbed through pop culture. For that reason, accounts of angelic visions by very young children take on greater significance. Their visions have not been polluted by the media. And what they are seeing is extraordinary. She was lifeless. There was, there was no life in the child whatsoever. When Ricky first presented to the emergency department, I was almost sure that she would not survive. I ran through the hall, and I knew something was wrong, and I found her floating face down in the pool. My mom pulled her out. And she screamed for help, and there was nothing my sister and I could do. It was such a difficult call because the parents of the child were very good friends. October 21st, 1984. They only took their eyes off her for a second, but that was long enough for tragedy to strike the Enriquez family of Barstow, California. A poolside accident left two-year-old Ricky paralyzed and in a deep coma. While her family prayed for a miracle, Ricky believes she briefly entered a world where miracles do happen. I looked behind me and I saw a guardian angel and um, she had flowing um, golden color hair and she was wearing a white dress. She grabbed my hand and we started to walk down the tunnel. When we got toward the end she asked me if I wanted to go through the light with her or if I wanted to go back and I told her that I had to go back and tell my mom where I was going. And so um, I, I remember her walking me back and telling me not to be afraid. Soon after, Ricky opened her eyes and began to recover. Doctors did not know why, but Ricky did, and she told her mother about it. It was approximately a month after she had come home from the hospital and I had taken her shopping with me. We went into a bookstore and maybe five minutes into shopping, she grabbed my hand and squeezed and, and started screaming and yelling in the store, Mama, Mama, that's my angel. And I didn't know what she was talking about. I looked around and there was a poster on the wall and it was of a guardian angel. Visions of angels are as real as any other human experience. Dr. Melvin Morse is a critical care physician, author, and a leading authority on near-death experience in children. My scientific studies on near-death experiences clearly document that near-death experiences are in fact the dying experience. Dr. Morse believes that through the near-death experiences of children, we can preview the afterlife. Children experience a spiritual light the great majority of the time during near-death experiences. And this is a loving comforting light. It's not just some sort of reflex spasm of the optic nerve or the, you know, dysfunctional firing of neurons in their occipital lobe. It's a light that one child said to me has a lot of good things in it. It was a really fluorescent color tone. It had really bright colored bricks around it and it had a really almost blinding light at the end. While Dr. Morse believes that Ricky Enriquez had a vision of death, Author Joan Wester Anderson has a different interpretation. She believes Ricky had what is known as a celestial vision of her guardian angel. Angels appear to children, I think, because children are so open to the spiritual realm. In near-death experiences with children, about 70% of those involve the sighting of an angel, which is kind of interesting because adults only report 15 or 20%. Anderson points out that the word angel comes from the Greek, meaning messenger. The message that they get from these kinds of encounters is that their ordinary lives are filled with purpose and meaning. Typically a child will say to me, gosh, I learned that I have a job to do. When this first happened, we never went to church much. Uh, she had no knowledge of angels, really didn't know anything about it. Since this, she likes to spread the word that the angels are out there and it's okay. I think that it happened so I could tell other people not to be afraid of dying. Although Ricky, who is now 12, has not had another angelic vision, 
She feels that the presence of the angel is always with her, and her family feels its presence too. They believe that Ricky has new angelic qualities that were passed to her after her encounter. 